Times are hard. We all want to see fair pay for the people who work hard to deliver good public services, no matter where they live. But on top of pay freezes, the government have announced plans to implement a system of regional pay that would mean different rates of pay for people doing exactly the same job. Here's five reasons why regional pay is a bad idea. One, it's unfair. Regional pay could mean two nurses or teachers, for example, with the same skills and experience, being paid differently in two different places, even within the same region. People should be paid based on their skills and the work they do, not where they live. What's worse, low pay could make it harder for poor regions to attract and keep the skilled workers that they need. Regional pay could also work against equal pay, unravelling the progress made in the public sector to narrow the pay gap between men and women, for example. Two, it's bad for the economy. Public sector workers are already feeling the pinch from pay freezes, the VAT rise and inflation. Regional pay would mean holding back pay for even longer in the parts of the country that are struggling the most. Holding back public sector pay will take away money that would otherwise be spent in local shops and businesses. Three, it isn't backed up by evidence. The government has argued that public sector pay stops the private sector growing. In fact, there's no evidence to support this. There is an average of five people chasing every job, often many more. It's a lack of demand in the economy, not the wages of hard-working people that is causing this problem. Four, it isn't what the private sector does. Most big private sector employers realise that a national system is the fairest and most efficient way to set pay. In fact, many big companies all take the same approach as the public sector. Five, it's unpopular. According to recent opinion polls, as few as 17% of us believe real-term pay cuts for the public sector would help low-pay regional economies. It's time that coalition MPs listened to their constituents, heard their concerns and put a stop to these damaging and divisive plans. So what can you do? Write to your MP or go meet them in person during MP surgeries. Write to your local paper to make your case or ask your local council for their support. Join your trade union and together we can fight this unfair policy. What I think should be done is actually what I'm really proud that the trade union movement's doing, which is building masses alliances across and between trade unions, between public and private sector workers, with local politicians, to show actually the economic impact that a policy like this would have. And I'm really pleased that in a region such as the North East, we're seeing a whole coalition of people coming together and saying, no, this will be bad for our region. And hopefully the government will listen to what people are saying to them. It's career suicide, financial actually. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it is the private, the, the private sector should look up with the public sector and not the other way around. What we deserve is to be paid fairly and to be treated fairly. It's not fair, it's not right. Regional pay doesn't add up. 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 Regional pay doesn't add up.